YOLO everybody, it's the man, the man, the legend, quad MFT here, and boy have I got a solid gameplay for you guys today, this is going to be a nice nuclear using the MK48 LMG, which recently I've been really fond of when I've been streaming live on Twitch TV, which of course will be down in the description below, I will be streaming tonight if you guys watch this video on the time that it comes out, which of course I do stream mainly every night, sometimes I don't stream on Thursdays because I'm kind of busy on that night, but usually I try and stream a lot for you guys, but this is going to be a nice MK48 nuclear that I got while streaming, but I didn't pull it from the stream for quality reasons so I could give you guys the best quality but I've never actually gotten a nuclear with the MK40 you know I've gotten it with the LSAT the QBB LSW and all that stuff like that but I thought I'd switch it up you know try out the MK40 I was using quick draw stock in this weirdo I, I believe this is like some hammer sight or hammer scope or something like that I'm not quite sure but this is a pretty nice nuclear if I do say so myself and I, I, I was running lethals so I wasn't trying to actually go for a nuclear I was just playing and I believe I got my K9 units twice so I, in fact, I, I believe it was actually almost three times, but this isn't ground war either. This is just 6v6, so there weren't nearly as enemies, uh, nearly as many enemies as if I wanted there to be. Uh, but, well, you know, what can you really do about that, guys? It's 6v6. 6v6 is really easy to control, clearly really easy to do well, and the fact that I'm uploading a nice nuclear. And this is actually more than nuclear. This is a nice 39 gun streak, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. I actually didn't get killed off my gun streak. The game ended, so that's a bit of a disappointment, but... The thing that I'm here to talk about today is overall confidence. Now, not just to talk about confidence with, you know, uh, being confident when on stage and doing public speaking and stuff like that. Maybe you're in a play or, or some performance or something like that or whatever it is, guys. I also want to tell you guys to be confident when you're on YouTube because, you know, you hear a lot of people who are like, uh, well, well, yeah, uh, um, I, I don't know what I'm here to talk about today. I, I just wanted to... I don't, I don't have a topic, and people are just not confident, you know, they're not thinking, it's like clearly, you should start out with a, to uh, a topic, first of all, like my topic's clearly confidence, and talking a little bit about the gameplay in this video, but I, I wanted to tell you guys that being confident clearly can be key to life, you know, I, I, of course I'm not someone who knows everything about life, I'm only 14 years old, but I believe uh, I'm a decently wise 14 year old, I mean, I, what, what can I say, I mean, I'm only 14 years old, so how would I know if I'm wise or not, if, I, if I'm only 14, of course, but uh, I, I really want to tell you guys that being confident especially when, to, when we're trying to go after girls when trying to get that one the, the hottest girl in your school you know how, how do I get her attention how do I talk to her I, I just can't do it I just I can't go up to her and talk to her you know but I, I'd say the little things that you want to start out with is just start off with small talk you know if you have a question about class and maybe maybe you don't maybe you know the answer let's say you know the answer to the question you want to ask the teacher instead of asking the teacher ask the girl because I mean how is she gonna say like ew pfft. Well, why are you talking to me? If you, let's say, oh, oh, what was the answer to number seven? But don't say that to the teacher. Say that to the girl. And she'll be like, oh, right here. And then right there. Just right there. Simply, you'll be in her mind. And that's confidence, you know. I mean, maybe you want to go up and talk to her and ask her how her day was. I mean... If you don't know that, that can kind of come off as easily creepy, but either way, I think that confidence when talking to girls, don't, I mean, stuttering, if you, if you guys have a stutter, don't get me wrong, guys, it's not your fault, you guys are probably born with it or somehow developed it or something like that, but confidence, especially in sports, when people go out and play football and basketball and golf and baseball and all these, even bowling, you know, even those sports like bowling and polo, like, maybe not the most, most popular sports in the world, but those guys, they have to be confident, because, I mean... Don't get me wrong, guys, but there's definitely a lot of intimidation when playing football and baseball and basketball, the three main sports. People are like, oh, actually, soccer is one of the main sports, just not quite so in America. I mean, soccer is really popular, definitely in the top four, but I don't know if it's more popular than, like, baseball or basketball or football or anything like that. But you still got to be completely confident. You got to have complete faith. Don't be like... And I, I don't know if, gonna, uh, if I'm going to do well this game. You know, my ankle kind of hurts. Just straight up go out and get what you want. Just be completely confident in yourself. Be like, yes, I know I can completely, utterly stomp and destroy this other team. I know I can do the best I've ever done. I know I'm better than those other guys. I mean, there's a huge difference in, in being confident than cocky, you know. If you're being cocky, then you're, you're kind of going around and saying, oh, yeah, I'm going to smack you guys. You guys are in for it, you know. That's definitely being cocky. That's being one of those guys who goes around is like, it's kind of like a bragger, but you don't really have anything to sort of back up for it but I want to say being confident can really really help you know mainly even especially in sports in YouTube in Call of Duty and in getting girls especially in Call of Duty to be honest but the reason why I say confidence is really key in Call of Duty is just the fact that you know when when you see someone else uh, right in front of you that split second that you're there that, that he's right in front of you don't think oh my gosh I'm so done it's all over I can't do anything or maybe you're losing in a domination game or hard point game for most of you competitive players and be like oh it's over it's over I can't do anything the search and destroy round is over just 
things like that you know i mean just be confident think that you can you know i'm sure you guys all probably heard of like thomas the choo-choo train or whatever it was that that really old tv show i mean maybe if you're a 90s kid you'll remember that but you i'm sure you guys know all those memes and stuff but I wanted to say that, you know, he was always like, keep on going, keep on going, chugga chugga choo choo. He was just keep on going, man. You know, keep on going, whether you don't want to do it. I mean, if for a while, if you don't want to do it, then I'd say don't do it if it's not enjoyable for you, whether it's Call of Duty, YouTube, girls, uh, even sports. I mean, maybe if you guys don't enjoy baseball, but you're being forced to play, like, maybe maybe it's it's time to take a little bit of a break but that's that's completely off subject i digress but i wanted to say that the simple thing is that being confident in everything you do that's going to completely change your personality and it's definitely going to take a a step in the good way it's definitely going to take an up step and be like oh yeah you know the fact that i'm confident the fact that i don't get, get nervous when i go on stage to do a play or a public speaking or a public speaking yeah you do a public speaking I, I thought i got my words mixed up there but it's like so many people i know so many kids that are so scared of being able to perform in like a class at school it's like i i, I don't really get nervous i mean i mean of course you get nervous but I, I don't actually get nervous i don't like sweat or freak out or anything like that you know it kind of runs in my family but don't get me wrong you can develop it you can develop confidence really easily you just got to believe in yourself that's all i have to say guys be confident in who you are be confident in everything you do i'm sure a lot of people support you behind it and even if they don't you've always got yourself and that's all you need so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure to click like on this this is hopefully a really solid gameplay nice mk48 nuclear and a 39 gun streak it's been quad mft subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video